In this review we're looking at some products from CGM Models of Italy. The model is a Cataneo self-erecting tower crane and we're also looking at two sets of accessories which can be used with the model. Starting with the model it's a Cataneo CM221 and it also includes a tractor unit and that's made by Holland Otto which is a Dutch company. The crane is produced by CGM Models. Out of the nice picture box comes the contents and the trays are marked a foam rubber which somebody has helpfully marked with the top. Let's take off the lid and we do have to be careful because the model is delicate. Included with the model is an instruction sheet and it is printed very faintly. It covers the main functionality of the crane part of the model but one thing it doesn't cover is a reeving diagram for the hook. To begin the assembly we have to do some work on the truck and we have to fit the mirrors. These are unsilvered and they press into holes on the cab. Next we have some small parts to fit to the crane and that includes the pads, the trolley, the hook and a sleeve for the kingpin. Let's start with the sleeve for the kingpin and that's fitted to make it fat enough to fit in the fifth wheel of the tractor. Next we'll fit the hook and the trolley so to start with we need to take some rope off of the winch drum and it runs up the back of the tower and over a pulley and through a hole to get to the jib. The next part is a little bit fiddly and that is putting the rope through the hook and once we've done that we can take the rope to the end of the jib. There you tie the rope on and try and make it a neat finish as possible. Next we put the rope on the trolley, we run it on one way and turn the trolley round and then the trolley can be clipped up onto the jib. Once you've made it tidy this is where the trolley is positioned for transport. Next the four pads can be fitted onto the outrigger beams and next we can load up the two counterweight blocks and these are carried when the crane is being transported. Finally we can connect the crane to the tractor unit and it's all ready for transport. This Mercedes-Benz Actros by Holland Otto is a fairly simple model. The steering is purely functional and the tyres are the same. From the front the Actros looks quite reasonable. The Actros grille is represented and there's some decent lights. The tractor is presented in a plain white colour scheme. But there are Cataneo graphics on the doors. The wheels are reasonably detailed. Behind the cab there's some nice casting detail but there are no coiled lines but there is a textured walkway surface. At the back there are coloured lights but no number plates on this generic model. The CM221 crane is made almost entirely of high quality plastic and that reduces the cost and the weight but it does allow for some nice detailing. The equipment cabinets on the crane are fairly simple but the counterweight blocks have the Cataneo name and they're loaded with metal inside. The mechanics of the crane are nicely detailed Pinned connections are very discreet and the support wires are of an accurate length. The tie bars at the top are of thin metal and the jib is completely plastic but it has fine detail. There's also a Cataneo signboard. Both the trolley and the hook are finely detailed parts and there's a small hydraulic ram in the folding part of the jib. The geometry of the jib itself is very good, it's nice and straight. Let's now take a look at the two accessory boxes and we'll open up the first to see what the packaging is like. Each of the parts of this set are included in a separate poly bag and there's other packaging in the box to stop all the parts rattling about. Set 0001 includes four spreader plates for use by crane models and there are two sets of lifting forks and there's also a chain with a hook. All of these parts are metal. Set 0002 has the same two lifting forks but there are also two buckets for concrete. Again all these parts are metal. Starting underneath the Actros the rear axle rotates but the best part of this model is the steering. As you can see the angle is very good so you could make some interesting poses. 
out on the cranes etc test track the model rolls well enough and if you set the steering you get a nice sharp angle hooked up to the crane the whole model rolls nicely let's now drive it onto site so we can set up the crane before removing the tractor we need to put down the landing leg and that rotates into position but you can't alter the length we'll disconnect the crane from the tractor using the giant hand crane and then the Cataneo sits on its landing leg the outrigger beams get pulled out into a star formation and the pads can be attached but like the landing leg there's no adjustment for height possible with the crane stable on its outriggers we'll fold up the landing leg and then we'll do what all good self-erecting cranes can do and that is they get opened up by a giant hand crane this works well on the model and you just have to make sure that the ropes and wires are all in the right place and once the tower is fully vertical you can slide out the counterweight the jib can be displayed either folded or opened up to the full length the winch drum gets operated by a tiny supplied screwdriver but for this it's always best to put a weight on the end of the hook to keep the rope nice and taut the trolley gets positioned anywhere by hand and the model can be rotated fully let's move on to the accessories and start with the large metal spreaders the pads on the CM221 don't quite fit into the holders on the plates but you can get round that by inserting tiny timbers as shown here and these spreader plates can provide a different way to display the model another use for the accessories is as loads on a truck but most of the time you'll want to use them in conjunction with a crane model so here we're hanging the lifting chain onto the hook and then adding on one of the concrete buckets and it is a nice addition to the model the round bucket also gives a different look the lifting force can just be added onto the crane hook and it looks even better if you've got a pallet of bricks you can put on the forks let's get back to the crane model and do a dim check and in terms of overall height it's about 39 centimeters or 15 inches and the maximum width from the counterweight to the jib tip is about 50 centimeters or nearly 20 inches this cataneo is a nicely engineered model by cgm models although it's mainly plastic it is lower cost and visually it's a nice looking model if you use some of the accessories we've seen here then the model looks even better so overall both the model and the accessories are rated as good Thank you.